girl, what's up? <coughs> <coughs> this is Felipe on Summer Rising of Venus. So many people are doing it. Libra, right now, I feel you're you're very bitter right now. Okay, you're not thinking logically, Libra. Libra, you're Libra, right? What the hell? You're an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. That's Libra, right? You're supposed to think logically. You're clearly not thinking logically. Yes, you are coming off as cold-hearted right now, but I feel you're being emotionally very, very um. Bias. You're, you're being very easily influenced by this person who's very in and out, in and out of your life out here. You're dealing with someone here who's been very on and off, very easy come, easy go out here. This person betrayed you. This person made you feel, you know, they, they, you kind of felt backstab, betrayed, okay, and things ended badly out here. I feel, however, there are chances that you're still not being able to get over what happened between you both, okay? Because it has affected you on a very deep level. So your emotions are all over the place. Okay, although you would want to cut this person off, but because you are so much in love with them, right? This person here is being able to influence you with those smart moves, with that passion that they come off towards you, okay? With the way they are. You could be dealing with a player. You could be dealing with someone who's heavily non-committal, all right? But that's what Casanova was are, right? That's what non-committal people are, right? Because, see, what happens here is, just a little sidetrack, um, when people are themselves, Say, for example, this Casanova that you're dealing with, right? Or the player that you're dealing with or the non-committal person that you're dealing with. This person out here is themselves, which makes them even more attractive. You are not being yourself, Libra. If you were yourself, you would have known long back to cut this person off. You have the clarity, but you don't have the courage, the balls to cut this person off because you have a lot of love for them. So you're still getting influenced by your emotions and not getting influenced and not using your logic right now, which is why even though you have the clarity out here, you're still back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay? You're not being able to rock the boat completely. And this person here knows that, which is why they very conveniently come back into your life, get what they want and they leave. This is someone here who you're dealing with, okay, who probably is not happy in their life at all, which is why they come back towards you. So either they like to keep their options open, or this is someone here who probably is just very unstable, or someone here who is very focused on their needs, their happiness, very selfish energy, very selfish energy, okay, very selfish person out here. They want to come back because they're not happy. They want to come back because you give them that exact um, proportion of love, you know, uh, and they give you enough to keep you around. And the moment they get what they want, they leave. Okay. Overall, I feel this person out here is very focused on themselves. Very focused on themselves, their career, their goals. This person out here that you're dealing with, Libra, I don't know who I'm talking to, but <laughs> whichever Libra I'm reading for, you're dealing with someone out here. Either there are two people coming towards you, first of all. You know, there could be someone who's very grounded and secure and stable who wants to give you commitment. And the other person out here who is very on and off. That could be your ex or that could be the one you're in separation or not talking to. If not, if you don't have two people coming towards you, there could be the same person out here who's very focused on himself, on themselves, their career, their goals. They feel they're the shit. They feel they got the goods, okay? And they don't need you. They don't need you. But when they want you, they come towards you, okay? Like I said, I think you're trying very hard to get over this person. One moment you feel you've got over them, the next day you feel you haven't got over them, okay? So that's like a little contradictory, okay? That's like a very difficult energy to get over, but you got to accept that something's over between you both here. I feel the reason here that you're not being able to completely cut this person off because this person is very smart, you know? This person here, when they come towards you, I feel this person love bombs you. Okay, the way they come towards you, they shower so much love on you, you know, and this is someone very young, okay? So you could, there could be an age difference between you both, or for the others of you, there's just an energetic difference. But you're coming off as more mature, and this person's a little naughty, they're cute, they're sweet, they're spicy, and they're like uh, very flirty. So you know, you like that, okay? You like that, because I feel like this is something that you need in your life. You're probably too serious in your life for a lot of you, okay? You want something stable, secure, but this person, the way they make you feel, it's like no I, I really if it's coming in 
I, I don't mind. Come on, come in. Apologize. Or talk to me. Flirt with me. Say that you miss me. You know, you're attached. You're attached and dependent on this person's constant breadcrumbing. Okay? The amount of love that they offer you, it's too little for the kind of stability that you're looking for. Which is what is stopping you from completely moving on from this person or just completely cutting them off out here. Things are not moving forward here and you know, you know, there is a point out here where you know that things are just not working out, okay? Something's just very disappointing and, uh, you know, you're not feeling supported by this person out here, okay? It's like you don't have an advantage with this person out here. And you're very close to releasing the situation, releasing this person who you've held on to for a very long time. But you're not being able to gather the will, the courage and the strength to overcome this person or get all over this person out here, okay? So you're kind of stuck here. The kind of person that you're dealing with out here, they use their full power. They use all their willing, their, their will, their strength, you know, and their, uh, you know, that their need to be successful with you only and only when they miss you, when they want you, or when uh, they're feeling that lack of emotional fulfillment in their life okay the reason here this person is in and out is because like i said this person is very emotionally unavailable they're emotionally unstable they don't know what they want they're always playing the victim always so if you don't uh consider their player ways they feel you're wrong they feel you don't love them and if they don't commit to you and they you know choose to be with other people around with you well that's because i was hurt in the past and i don't want to commit so this person here absolutely plays the victim card out here. There's a lot of emotional blackmail from this person out here. You know, they know exactly which is the right nerve to hit. So they will say all the right things out here, okay? And their, their intuition is on point. Could be dealing with a water sign. Doesn't have to be. But this person out here, their intuition is on point. They know that you still love them. You see that? This is exactly what I just explained to you 20 seconds back. They know that you still love them and they know that you kept the door open for them which is very easy, you know, for them to come in out. They don't need to break the door and they don't need to be disappointed and walk away, which is going to hurt their ego. This person out here, honestly, is someone whose entire focus is on their career, their goals, their money. I don't think you're their focus at all, okay? Having the attention that they want and then just taking off, okay? This person out here is not wanting to break a risk, but they don't even want to let you go. So again, very selfish person out here. They only think about themselves out here. You, on the other hand, you know this is a disaster. This is something that needs to end right now, but you're not being able to do it because you're just enjoying the love and the flirt and the flirting and the attention that they give. Libra, they're coming back. They're coming back. Okay. But again, it's going to be a pain in the ass for you. It is. They will come back. They're going to do the same shit. They're going to do the same shit. You're dealing with someone here who's very, very focused on their uh, financial growth. They're very focused on themselves, okay? This person out here is very focused on their independence in terms of their mind. They want they, they want to be in their comfort zone, you know, and they've created that world of independence and they don't want to get out of it. They're focused on their own growth, their finances. They're very focused on societal growth and prosperity, etc. You are not on their agenda. You're not on their agenda. They know the right thing to do is to either give you a commitment and get things to the next level or to completely let you go. But they don't want to do that because letting you go is not a part of their plan. Can I have the three of wands here? Uh, it's not a part of their plan, okay? So I do feel, even though you feel that this person is going to, okay, like, great, like, this person's going to let me go, they're never letting you go. First of all, let's make it very clear to you. I don't see a reconciliation here, but I do see this person coming back towards you because they broke your heart, right? There was a very strong connection that you guys had. But when it came to moving things to the next level or giving you commitment, that's something which is not really, again, not a part of their plan. Letting you is also not a part of their plan out here. You're choosing to give up this person out here, okay? You're probably, as the outcome out here, eventually, you will turn your back to this person. You will open up your options and you will choose to turn your back towards this person out here. 
because the waiting period is just getting frustrating okay and this is like a wish that didn't come true the, the wish is becoming a nightmare now they're single watching you they probably have there's going to be little to no communication from this person or they'll just be like those small communications that they'll keep putting in towards you okay so that you're there in their life okay but again i feel that you are going to be releasing the situation or releasing this entire stressful um, connection out here because things are just not getting off ground you know things are just not getting off ground out here this person still does not give you the commitment or the stability that you want at least there's no first step out here and if you have been in this connection for a very long time then you're still where you've started off okay you probably reach level 10 with them emotionally and they're still not even at level 2 okay so even though the connection is very strong between both you both do have like that fairy tale you know a uh, relationship that you both had but this person has no plans of taking things forward with you at least for now all right not for now don't waste your time libra you can let this person go if you want so that's what i have for you libra uh a lot of you may not like my readings but i just like to keep it uh very direct and i don't like to sugarcoat my readings all right so that you get a better um suggestion or you get like a better idea of what is going on all right so do like share subscribe leave your comments below and i will see you next time bye bye